Okay, you got the cell fired up and working on this. Got my ground side hooked up and uh, got my reservoir here uh, feeding my solution into the cell and then uh, feeding out, coming out the top into my little bubbler and then back out into my uh, HHO almonder, I guess you'd call it. I borrow something from zero. And look at my amperage here. Looking at uh, 48.5, 48.4 in that range. I don't have a too big of a battery charger on there, so it going to gradually go down until the battery voltage just drops and it's already dropping here's 11.8 running pretty good I can set this down and run a volume test if you'd like just right quick reset my thing to zero and then I'll turn this little valve off right here and watch the fuel go up. And here goes the bottle floating. It's a one liter bottle. running 23 seconds for one liter and 11.75 volts and 49 amps 49.6 I'm dancing around there that's pretty good I've got a little valve here that I turn on and off and I'm kind of leery of breathing too much of that stuff so I've got a hose here run on outside to where it it's not in the house in the garage for uh, safety purposes for sparks and stuff and also I don't think it's a good idea to breathe that stuff so it's uh, my cell up and running actually I've got the cell divided up into three sections on the positive leads, the green, yellow, and blue there. Then it comes over here to the solenoids, and I got a solenoid wired up with the green, the blue, and the yellow. And then used a trailer plug here and wired in the yellow and the green wire to one solenoid and uh, the blue one which is actually brown but I put some heat shrink on to make it blue and then come out here and I haven't heat shrink this side so I've got some little alligator clips to power up the uh, uh, actual solenoids and that's running on two of those cells so the uh, green one and the yellow one are powered up and the brown one is not powered up so actually running that cell right at this moment on the green lead and the uh, yellow lead and then the blue one pictured there is uh, not being fired up at this moment to be able to help control how much amp draw I have if I hook that other one up I can do that right quick just uh, reach over here and hook up the alligator clip and the solenoid kicks on and then amps come on up I think it's limiting now because I don't have my voltage is dropping off and uh, my amps come up a little bit but when I hook the jumper cables up and run to the truck at this concentration it was on up around 
60, I think, amps or 62 or something. And um, at this point, it's running 3.9. Uh, I mean, 4.39 or something MMW. Somewhere along in there, I've got a whole bunch of scribblings along in here to look at some of my MMW readings. There was a uh, one in here was uh, 4.27. Another one was 4.5. 4.3. It was earlier before I had the cell tore down. I actually was running some fives, but it seems that you have to really be careful with your um, measurements because uh, my amp probe is uh, new, and I think it's more accurate than a previous amp meter. So when I was running what I thought was fives, I may have been actually not running true fives because the amp gauge wasn't reading correctly. Uh, I've got them sitting around over here somewhere. But anyway, that's a look at the cell up and running and a few more modifications. But she's doing good and lots of gas flowing out and uh, rolling up pretty good, circulating some fluid. I don't know if you can see inside there and do we look and see how much we did 23 seconds that's uh, less than three liters a minute I guess at this point but it's hard to see in there I don't see if you can see it but every once in a while you see a little bubble or something you can float through and you see the circulation but up here on the top it's flowing pretty well Anyway, look at my bubbler again, and we'll turn this off next time.